Memory, dream and love are themes of many games. To the Moon is the masterpiece from a Canadian indie game developer, Freebird Games. They've blended these themes into the story which was meticulously created and praised so much by players around the world. The story of To the Moon begins in the super advanced technology era. Your protagonists are Dr. Eva Rosaline and her colleague, Dr. Neil Watts. Both of them work for Sigmund Core. Their job is to alter the client's memory with the company's high-tech equipment. One of their clients is Johnny, a comatose old man who lives near a lighthouse. His last wish is to travel to the moon. To the Moon is an RPG that emphasises its narrative. So the gameplay is mostly about exploring and having conversations with NPCs to find clues that might help Johnny reach the moon as he wishes. Occasionally you'll be given options of what to do next. However, your choice won't affect the main narrative, but will only reveal additional stories or jokes. Puzzle solving is one of the main gameplay elements in To The Moon. There are two kinds of puzzles. One is to find items relating to Johnny's memories to create memory links between that item and his memories from the past. The other is picture puzzles from Memento in his memory. You will have to use orbs to rearrange pieces into a complete picture so you can travel to the next memory. The areas are well designed, not too complicated and easy to understand. However, there aren't many areas to explore into the moon because this game is mainly focused on storytelling. Since the theme is about memory and time, the details of places will be different every time you come back to the same place, making the gameplay subtly non-monotonous. This game was created using RPG Maker. The visual style is in 16-bit 2D, reminding us of the old-school JRPGs like Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger. Hence, the game requires lower resources from your computer. The scenes are charming and not too complicated in retro style where players can easily be immersed in the game. To the Moon's background music is so brilliant that it was nominated for Best Music and Best Song of the Year at GameSpot 2011. The piano-heavy soundtracks go so well with the theme of this game, and the music will change according to the situation. However, there's not a lot of tracks, so the audio could sound repetitive sometimes. incorporates pop culture from other games and animes, with the two protagonists sharing their sense of humour. You will feel a bond with them. Moreover, all the little added details to scenes that you have been before, showing how much attention and creativity the developer puts into this game. This is Play Prime stats that show you the game's characteristics. To the Moon focuses on its story that was obviously created to impress. 
pop culture, sense of humour and added details to places you revisit reflect the level of creativity. Also, the performance of this game works really well on computers with lower specifications. And for this game, the reviewer recommends you to get I'll Fly You to the Moon. Subscribe to Play Prime for more reviews and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.